Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today's review is going to be of the new launch of the Jaclyn Cosmetics by Jaclyn Hill. But first, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on Instagram. So I did buy all of the products directly from the Jaclyn Cosmetics website, except for one of the bronzer blush duos I found on eBay and I bought from someone in Winnipeg. So each product comes packaged in its own box, and then it's packaged in bubble wrap, so none of my products came damaged or broken. I bought two bronzer blush duos, each retail for $36 US, two accent light highlighters, $29 US each, and two pout spoken liquid lipsticks, each retail for $20 US. And as always, I'll list all the products that I use today and include a link to Jaclyn's website in my description box below. I have full base on and some mascara, but nothing else. So let's start with the bronzers. So I have the two lightest shades, Top Tan and Oh Honey. So this is what the bronzer compact looks like. It's quite heavy. It's of a heavier plastic, has a really nice embossed J for Jaclyn. It comes with a very large mirror. This one is Top Tan and this one is Oh Honey. Now it's very finely milled. It feels super soft and I can just rub it out on my fingers. So I'm going to put a little on my brush and I'm just going to apply some on my cheek area. So as you can see, it's quite light. It did add some warmth to my skin, but I don't think that this is my shade. I have more of a light to medium complexion. I think this color would be best suited for someone who is fair or has that really, really white skin. Clean off my brush in between. So this shade is Oh Honey. I'm gonna tap some on. Again, no real kickback at all. You can see it in the pan. It's completely clean. So this side has the top tan. So I'm gonna put Oh Honey on this side. So that's definitely more my shade. So I'm gonna add Oh Honey to this side and I'm gonna bronze up my forehead as well. Let's even put some down the neck. I'm gonna show you what it looks like a little more close up. Now my lights are on, so it does, it does take down the color a little bit. When I look at myself in my mirror and on the monitor, the color is beautiful. I really like it. I think it gives me a really nice, warmth to my skin. I don't look too bronzy, but I look like I'm not so pale as before. I'm not so dead looking. And it's a product that you can build up. So if you're someone who is new to makeup or maybe is a little leery about trying bronzer, this type of formula would be fantastic because you could add a little or you can add a lot. And if you put on too much, you could just take a damp beauty blender and you could just blend it out. It's very easy to apply. It's not over pigmented. So you can quickly put some on, rush out the door, and it just looks pretty. Moving on, let's go to the blush. This one is Lilac Love and this one is Pink Me Up. So I'm going to insert a swatch so you guys can see what the colors look like in natural light. So I'm gonna use my MAC blush brush. It does not have a number. Tap it on there. Now, I don't really think that this is my color, but I still wanted to show it for you guys so you can see it, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be too light for me. If you had very fair skin, I think this would look really pretty, but for me, I like a lot of blush, and I have a red undertone, so I like my blush to be able to cover some of that. The lilac just isn't dark enough for me. Clean my brush in between. So let's try the Pink Me Up. Very pretty. So it's finely milled, same as the bronzer, and it is silky smooth to the touch. So again, it's something that's not over pigmented. So to me, this is foolproof makeup. Anyone could apply either color on your face, on your cheek, and it would blend effortlessly and just look like you have this wash of color, but it would look super pretty. And it just glides onto your skin. So next, let's move on to the highlighters. Super cute packaging. It has the J embossed on it. They come with a full-size mirror. So these two you can definitely see on camera. This is mesmerized and this is exposed. I mean, look at that shine. 
So you're gonna add highlighter anywhere that you wanna add a little light to the face. Top of the cheekbone, down the nose, on the cupid's bow. So you can use a brush or you can just use your finger. So I'm just gonna take a little, I'm gonna use my fourth finger and I'm just going to apply it to the top of my cheekbone. It's just beautiful. I mean, look at that glow. So some highlighters are a little too glowy for what I like. And as I'm getting older, I do have a little texture on the cheek, so I don't want to emphasize this. However, these highlighters are just the right amount of highlight and sparkle without being too overdone. I don't want it to look wet and I don't want it to look like you can see it from the gods. That's just not for me. I'm going to take just a little bit and go down my nose and on the tip. And obviously for the purpose of the review, I am going to put it on a little bit heavier than I would normally wear when I go out, but I do want you guys to be able to see it on camera. And I'm going to do my Cupid's bow. I mean, gorgeous. Just a nice little glow. Highlighters normally are formulated very fine, so they are safe to use as eyeshadow. So I always add a little bit of highlighter to the first third of my eyelid, and it'll just add this little pop, this little, hi, I'm awake today kind of look. Before I'm gonna add my highlighter, I'm going to take a bit of the bronzer and just put on a little bit of color as eyeshadow. It adds just a little bit of continuity in your makeup. So if you're used to putting bronzer here, the same shade of bronzer will also look good on your eyes. I like to know that I can use my products for more than one purpose. I always use bronzer as my eyeshadow and I always use highlighter as a little bit of definition on the eyelid. Again, it's something really quick and easy that you can do that just adds a little definition to the eye. So now for the fun part. I'm going to take the shade Mesmerized and apply it to the first half of my eyelid. And I'm just going to tap it on. And this is another use for your highlighter. Take a little brush. This is the MAC number 10. Take a little on the brush and we're going to put it right in the corner of the eye. Just blend it into the eyelid. You just sort of pack it on and it just adds a little bit of light. Again, a little light in those eyes that we all want a little pop of color. Clean my brush. So now I'm going to take the color exposure and put it all over my lid. It's too dark for me to wear on my face, but as eyeshadow, I think it's going to look super bronzy, super sexy. This to me would be a night look. So I'm going to take a little of the product and I'm going to apply it all over the base of my lid. I mean, look at that super sexy. So if you wanted to, you could take your blending brush and just even out the edges a little bit. Honestly, this formula is so silky smooth, you could apply it with just your finger and go. The liquid lips come with a doe foot applicator. So this is the Mamma Mia shade. It's kind of a rosy pink tone. This is I'm a Cancer. And this one's more of a nude light brown tone. So because I did more of a bronze dye, I'm going to save the I'm a Cancer till the end. And I'm going to start with the Mama. It kind of has a smell of cupcake frosting, I think. Yeah, something like that. It's not overpowering. It doesn't stink. It has a nice scent to it. It has a mousse-like texture. Hey, that's actually pretty good. So a tip, if you don't have a lip pencil, take the tip of the doe foot applicator. I'm just going to wipe off a little of the excess and you can use that to outline your lip. Hey, actually that wasn't so bad. 
So the color is kind of a mauvey pink. It's not sticky. It still feels pretty good. Obviously not this color for this look, but I still think it looks really pretty. So I am going to line my lips before I put this on. I'm, I'm going to use a, another lip liner from another brand only because I could not purchase a lip liner from the Jaclyn Cosmetics, which is too bad because I really did want to try them. So I did line my lips with a lip pencil and now I'm going to take I'm a Cancer and apply it to the lips. Okay, again, it's not sticky. It does dry down a little bit, but that's a liquid lip. I do really like the color. I'm just checking myself out in the monitor. And I like the bronze combo with that combo. So I'm going to take a little bit of the mesmerized highlighter and I'm going to apply it in the middle of the lip to add a little bit of sparkle. Again, I love it when you can use one item for more than one purpose. I'll give you guys a little closer look of the final look. So here are my final thoughts. I absolutely love the bronzer blush duo kit. I wish you guys could feel how heavy this packaging is and how beautiful it looks. It comes with that huge mirror. The quality of the bronzer and the blush, they are so finely milled and so smooth to the touch that they just glide effortlessly over the skin. And I just think if you're starting out in makeup or maybe you don't want to buy a lot of products or carry a lot of products when you travel, this is a great idea. Bronzer, blush, and I think you can use your bronzer for eyeshadow as well. I love to multi-purpose my items. So for me, $36 I think is a great deal. I absolutely love the highlighters. Jaclyn is synonymous with making great quality highlighters. These are no exception. And I showed you guys that you can use your highlighter for more than one purpose. You can apply it to the cheek, you can use it as eyeshadow, and you can even put it on your lips. So for $29, I think that this is a fabulous product and I definitely think it's worth the money. So last but not least are the liquid lips. So the liquid lipstick retails for $20 US. They go on very smoothly. It has very good pigment as you can see, and it doesn't have an obnoxious scent or smell. The cupcake smell is actually pretty nice. So I don't normally wear a lot of liquid lips. I like a more glossy look or a colored bomb look, but I will say, these are very comfortable to wear and I do really like the color that I got, especially with the eye makeup. I kind of really like this whole look. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.